This is another guy that like uh, Henry can tell you a lot of stories about. This is David Cassidy. I started shooting pictures of David Cassidy on the Partridge family. I got to know him real well over a year, year and a half period, and when he went on his solo tour around the world, when he was really um, a, quite a big star and had some hit songs, I went around with him around the world and was his photographer. I mean, first of all, he'd be a virtual prisoner in his hotel suite. This kind of crowd is outside the hotel, all these little girls singing. We love you, David, we always will. We love the things you did, 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 you know, and you're going, oh my God, you know. <laughs> trying to sleep with the pillow over your ear. But it was that way all around the world with David. I think I love you. I had never worked with anybody quite like that before. And this was an album where David Cassidy was uh, wanting to get out of the image of being the pop idol and be taken seriously. This was about the ascendance of a star and the falling of a star. And this image was like the image of this person, I wanted him like flying through the air with this star, you know, ascending above this crowd of teeny boppers back here. We rented this studio from uh, this graphic, Peter Wharf or somebody like that. There was a rope hanging from the ceiling and there was a skylight and we got a big tall stepladder and I stood way up on the top of the stepladder so I was looking down at him. He grabbed onto the rope and held his guitar like this and he was just like he was, you know, flying up in the air. And when Gary put it over all these little uh, uh, teeny boppers down on the street, it looked, looked real. It looked like he really was flying up. And this was, like I say, originally to be the shot in the alley of him totally fallen. So we did a whole series of shots that never got used, wherein David dressed up as a bum and went down to an alley and behind a friend of mine's art studio and laid up against the back of an old purple Cadillac and um, had on a suit that we had stopped and bought at the Salvation Army and old shoes and uh, he had his guitar case that had uh, like shirts and different uh, pieces of paraphernalia including the car him on the cover of Life magazine you know, saying that, yeah, this is David Cassidy and this is what's happened to him, folks. He's fallen. He's gone. Right. <clears throat> and the record company saw that and they completely went off them. Because what they were buying was this pop idol, you know, and they wanted him to do exactly what he didn't want to do. The record company wouldn't let it be used for fear that people would think he really was a bum in the alley and all <laughs> washed up, you know. So they didn't let us use it. Instead, we did this. It's, um, it's his suit, all crumpled up and uh, airbrushed, like singed edges to it and stuff, and a little wisp of smoke coming up off his glitter boots and all these things, and there's all these bobby socks and lo penny loafer girls, young girls' feet in the, from around the frame around it, and the star is broken over here, smoldering in the corner, and it says, there's a little banner that's crumpled up, it says, the harder they fall. Well, maybe, maybe David didn't escape the, the teen idol thing with that album, but eventually he was able to get away from it by going back into acting. 